Well, hello, welcome to our continuing devotional. We're currently in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and we're seeing the character of the Antichrist. He's lawless, he's blasphemous. Uh, we, his character is lawless, his conduct is blasphemous, he claims to be God. But after seeing his character and his conduct in the first few seven verses or so of this chapter, we then see his conclusion and the judgment, the hopelessness of his his ultimate plans of the Antichrist and of Satan himself. We see that in verse 8 where it says this. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8 says this. <clears throat> and then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. The lawless one will be revealed. <clears throat> Uh, he will be manifested. We talked about that in our previous devotional. The restraint will be removed. He will he will engage in his immoral, blasphemous conduct. But the Bible doesn't, in this chapter, the Bible doesn't describe a lot of that. It kind of skips over all of those years of immorality, blasphemy, uh, lies and deceptions and falsehoods, and skips over to his conclusion, to his ending, where he says, the lawless one will be revealed, and then it says, the Lord Jesus will kill him with the breath of his mouth, with the word of his judgment, and will bring to nothing, bring him to nothing by the appearance of his coming. So when Jesus comes, when the light comes, darkness will cease, it will flee. When Jesus comes, he will destroy all the work of evil. And you and I can look forward to that. Evil will have a time in which it will prosper. We have to understand that. The Bible tells us in Matthew 24, when Jesus is talking about the end times, that they, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. There will be terrible times, the Bible tells us, in the last days. Things will look like they're getting worse. It will look like, like, like Christianity has failed, like there's no hope. It will look like evil is prevailing. The evil is winning. The world will turn and even worship the Antichrist. But let's never, ever forget that we know the end of the story. We know how the story ends. We're told that when Jesus Christ appears, he will kill He will kill him with the breath of his mouth. He will bring him to nothing by his very presence, by the appearance of his coming. So we don't look at what is seen, but what is unseen. We take hope and put our trust in God's word. Now, this is a little shorter devotional today, but I didn't want to get into the next few verses because I want to cover them all together. So in our next devotional, we'll begin to look at verses 9 through 12. I hope you'll consider these things and realize that evil is certain to be defeated. Jesus Christ wins. Consider that and praise God for it. Have a blessed day.